Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to a new video. So today we are going to be doing my Premier League prediction. If I'm being honest, I've actually been doing this for a while and I must have changed it about 10 times. I don't really know what I think, but I've given it a go. So to start things off, I've gone with my bottom three of West Brom, Swansea and Hull City. Hull City, sadly, I think will go down this season. Maybe not bottom, but I think they're going to go down. They're struggling to get a first 11 out for this weekend. So, unless they make some big buys at the last minute, they've lost Steve Bruce, their manager. They just seem all over the place. And sadly, I don't think they're going to handle the Prem very well this season. Second bottom, I've got Swansea. Swansea were doing really well a few years ago, and it just seems to have been a downhill slope for them. I didn't perform very well last season or at the end of last season and sadly I think they might be in some trouble. Selen and Boney, their main striker at Man City, hit them hard and I just don't think they've coped very well. To finish off my list of three at the bottom with West Brom, I don't know, West Brom have always been just that team that kind of just stick around in the Prem. Get, don't get me wrong, they are a decent side um, and it's not an easy win but um, I do think they go into a lot of games defending um, and I just don't think with a lot of like smaller teams have been buying players this, season, um, this summer, I don't think they've really changed much. They're going to have Foster back in net which will obviously be a bonus but I don't think it'll be enough to keep them in the Premier League. Moving on to my two teams who I think will just stay in the Premier League, I've got Middlesbrough and Burnley. Obviously two of the three that came up this season. I actually think Burnley's squad is okay. Um, they obviously did really well in the Championship and they'll be on a high flyer to start off the Prem. So if they can get some decent wins at the start of the season when they're confident, it could be enough to carry them through. Especially with Gray, obviously a striker who did very well in the Championship. If he can play like he did then, um, I think he could definitely rack up enough goals to keep them ab above going down. Secondly, we've got Millsborough, who again came up from the Championship. I think they will do all right this season. They brought in some pretty crazy silence. They've got Valdez in net. They've got Negredo up front. Um, I think Negredo will actually get a few goals. I mean, he wasn't the most prolific striker at Man City, but for a team like Middlesbrough to get him in, I think is outrageous. Victor Valdez, I think, was a bit past it, but he's still going to be good for them. I think Middlesbrough should have enough in them to stay in the Premier League. So my next three teams moving up, we've got Bournemouth, Sunderland and Watford. Um, these three teams, I think, are kind of... They're not amazing, so they're not going to be pushing top table, but I don't think they're bad enough to get relegated on comparison with the teams below them that I've put in. Um, Sunderland obviously made a close escape last season, sending Newcastle down, uh, which is still a sore point for me, but with players like Defoe coming in at the end of the season, if he can hit form at the start of this season, they could actually do all right. And obviously they've got Moyes in now, he's brought a few signings in. Um, there's hope for Sunderland yet. With regard to Watford, we've got Troy Deeney and Agar, who did really well last season. Will they hit the form they did last season? I'm not sure, but I think they should definitely get enough goals to stay in the Prem. And then with Bournemouth... I don't know about Bournemouth. I think they did actually did all right last season, and I think they might struggle a little bit this season, but not enough to get relegated. They've obviously brought Ibin from Liverpool, um, and Callum Wilson, who was injured for a lot of last season, is back. Um, so if he can hit form like he did when Bournemouth first came up, then they should haven't have any issues at all. Out of the three, I've obviously put Bournemouth top. Looking back at it, they might be a bit lower, but. I'll stick with my guts, I'll leave them at 13th. Moving up into the top half, I've got Southampton, Everton, Stoke and Crystal Palace. Uh, Crystal Palace, I think, will do again mid-table finish. They've been doing alright, Pardew's not done too badly for them. I mean, they've brought Townsend in, who I think is a great signing. I think they're not going to hit huge highs and I don't. I think they've got a good enough team to not go down. I think about 12th mid-table is a good estimate for them. With Stoke, they are actually, um, obviously every season Stoke's the mid-table team um, and they've actually been doing really well, bringing in players like Shaqiri um, and Avantovic, and Avantovic, Avantovic? He's been really good. Um, I think Stoke will just probably hit mid-table again, sadly. Everton, I've got them in 10th spot in the middle of the league. Um, I think, well, to be honest, Everton have been having a bit of a torrid time at the minute. They've just brought, it, brought in Ronald Corman as the new manager. Um, I don't think they're going to hit huge highs yet, although he is a great manager. I don't know if he's got enough to work with. Obviously, they've got Lukaku. 
who is good, but he isn't always the most consistent. Same with Ross Barkley. He is a good player, but isn't always amazingly consistent. I've put them mid-table. They might do better if they can get off to a good run, but that's where I'm going to leave them for now. And then in ninth place, I've got Southampton, who again, um, were doing really well, sold all the players, did really well, sold more players. Um, and they've kind of come into a, a position where they, oh, they were pushing for it, but... I'm not sure how they're going to do. Obviously, they sold Pella, so that gives Shane Long a bit of a chance in the team. And I do think he's a good player. I don't think he's 20 goals a season, man. But if he's if he gets the goals in, um, I reckon they could do a, a decent job of staying around mid-table, maybe pushing a little bit higher. So moving up the league again, I've got West Ham 8th, Leicester at 7th, and I've put Chelsea at 6th. To be honest with you, um, from this point on, I've changed these teams around at least 10 times, and I'm not 100% sure. I think West Ham, of of the next lot of teams, um, I've put them in if To be honest, West Ham as a whole is a good team. Payet is an amazing player. If he plays well, West Ham as a team can do great things this season. Um, him crossing the ball into Andy Carroll, who had some great form at the end of last season, he could easily bang some goals in. Start if they have basically if West Ham have a good start, they could do what they did last season and literally follow it for a long time. If they don't start well. Um, I reckon 8th will be around where they are. They could definitely hit higher, um, and if I was a West Ham fan, I'd want to be hitting at least around 8th. I've put Leicester in at 7th, and it's sad to say it, but like a lot of other people, um, I just don't think Leicester will carry on how they ended last season. To be honest, there's no reason why not. There's no reason they can't start this season and win all the games again, because they did it just about last season. The only thing is with the Champions League, Obviously, they haven't brought in too many players into the squad because why change a winning formula? But when you've got as many games as Leicester are going to have um, this season because of the Champions League, I think people are going to get tired. And I think at the end of the season, um, they're not going to have as much energy in the tank as they did last season when they didn't have as many games. I put Chelsea in sixth. To be honest, anywhere up in the table now is anyone's guess. I've got no idea. I put Chelsea in there just because, obviously, last season they didn't do very well. And although they've got a new manager in, everyone's saying that Hazard's going to definitely be on form this season. No one actually knows if he is. Um, if Hazard plays well, if Costa wakes up and plays well, then Chelsea have got every chance of winning the league. They, like They can do whatever. They've got the players for it. Um, will the players... The players will be up for it, but are they going to have the confidence to carry it through? I'm not so sure. In fifth, I've put Liverpool, I think. Um, Klopp has done really well with them so far. Um, he's obviously brought a few players in, like Sané from Southampton, who I think will fit the kind of play that Klopp likes. Obviously, Klopp came in and he did all right last season. Um, I think this is his season to shine. Will he shine? Uh, I don't know. I think fifth is about where Liverpool should be. I just think Klopp gives their te a team an edge to play better. Um, I think he motivates his players well, and if he can do that this season, Liverpool have got every chance of getting up there fifth, maybe sixth, maybe even fourth, depending on how the other teams do. Moving up the table, I've got Tottenham in at third and Arsenal in at fourth. So obviously there's the big thing that Tottenham's never come above Arsenal, despite the fact that they almost did last year. Um... I think Tottenham had a really good run last year and I think they've got some really good players who could potentially push them as high as third again. Arsenal obviously have got a very well-rounded team, but I just think like the confidence of Arsenal just is just so flat. All of this about we need to buy players, no players are coming in. Um, they keep saying the one, <laughs> a big striker to finally replace Giroud. It just isn't happening. Um, and obviously, because Arsenal are already an amazing, are already a really good team, uh, I do think they're going to easily get Champions League like they normally do. I think they're very solid, uh, but will they be good enough to push higher? I'm not sure. And I just think Tottenham are just on a bit of a run at the minute. If they can continue that run, they can easily hit third. If they don't continue the run, they could easily be hitting seventh, sixth, fifth. But again, I don't know. We'll have to see. To finish things off, um, top two left, Man U and Man City, I have gone with Man United. Like I, When I say I've changed this ten times, I honestly, I actually didn't want to put Man United top because I just think it's just jumping on the bandwagon. 
and everyone's saying it and I kind of wanted to just pick someone else. I did have Man City in at top at one point, but you know, I just I don't think City want to win the league. The way they play sometimes, they're just throwing it away. They should be beating, City should be beating every team in the league. Um, maybe not some of the big ones, draws or whatever, but like they lose to the worst teams. Um, and it is uh, unless they've got a, they've got a new manager, Pep Guardiola might completely change that. Uh, De Bruyne is in really good form. Aguero's obviously amazing. They could win it, um, but it's just the, the team mentality. We'll have to see how they do. But yeah, I have put Man U top. Like I said, didn't really want to, but I have done it. I just think Mourinho um, is a huge thing for them. If Mourinho can start off like Mourinho should, and Man U play like they should. I just think they'll win it easy, to be honest. Um, basically, I think they'll be beating the big teams because of Mourinho's mind games, and I don't think they're daft enough to lose against the rubbish teams when teams like Man City and Arsenal can very easily just muck it up against someone rubbish. It's basically the team who can actually beat the lower league teams, uh, the lower table teams with ease, and then manages to hold draws and um, gets wins against the big teams. So yes, in the end, I did put Man U top despite uh, not wanting to, but I think they are going to either win it second, they're going to do well this season with Mourinho, Pogba's come in, Ibra's come in, but yeah, that's what I think. If you guys have got a different idea, then make sure to let me know in the comments. If you have enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you're new, subscribe. But thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome to a new video. So if you are part of the Fantasy League, then make sure you check out my league code, which is on the screen here and in the description. Uh, join my league so we can battle it out and see who's got a better team. But yes, if the video does help, please drop a like and let's see my top players you should avoid in the Fantasy League.